Then there's a third group. And the third group is the financial market infrastructure world. That's where people like Swift live. That's where CSDs live. That's where um, certain identity providers live. This is kind of the financial market infrastructure world that processes quadrillions of dollars in transactions every year. And this uh, world also has a certain role to play in how they will interact with all of these on-chain transactions. And there needs to be a system to facilitate that interaction. There needs to be a way how CSDs interact with blockchain transactions. There needs to be a way for identity solutions to interact with blockchain transactions. There needs to be a way for central banks to interact with blockchain transactions. All of these systems are going to continue to exist and they need some technology. They need some way to interact with this more and more fragmented, more and more value securing blockchain ecosystem of various chain technologies that, 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 that by the way, also need a data standard in order to transact. So that third group is the slowest moving group because, um, and I didn't understand why they were slow moving until a few years ago, but after, after being part of building a system that secures this much value, I actually do understand. When, when you secure huge amounts of value, you, you really have to understand what you're doing before you do it. Um, because because it's, it's, it's a different um, set of responsibilities versus I'm a startup with three people and I'm just going to throw something against the wall and see if it sticks. And if it doesn't stick, I'm back to where I was 10 minutes ago, right? So you, you have to come up with ways to continue to provide security while creating new, new features. That's what these people in the financial market infrastructure community are trying to do. This, these, are who the, these are the people you see us interacting with when we go to like Cybos and when we go to these other conferences. And there, there needs to be a global standard for how the financial market infrastructures of the world, how the central banks of the world interact with each other and with chains.